Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm Melissa, and today I'm making some breakfast for dinner. It was a last minute decision, so I figured why not show you guys my breakfast casserole. But before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Let's get started with this breakfast casserole for dinner. All right, y'all, so I decided to make a little breakfast for dinner today, and it's gonna be as no carb as possible. So I'm just gonna make a quick little breakfast casserole that I've made many times, but today it's gonna to be slightly different than normal. So to start off, we're gonna use some, some breakfast sausage, my favorite, good old swaggerty, that's some good stuff right there. So we're gonna brown that up, get it open, get it all browned. All right, so just gonna add this to the skillet, brown it, and then we're gonna go on and add our other little ingredients. Normally when I make this, this one is, is really quick and easy, at least, in, at least I think so, because I, I add, it's always different each time. I always find something different to add to it. It's one of those easy peasy breakfast casseroles. And normally I would use six egg, six whole eggs. Today I don't feel like make using that because really I'm not a big eggs fan unless it's boiled. So instead of using whole eggs, I'm going for egg whites today. I think I'll use about a good nine ounces. I think this is about nine ounces. What you think? What does that look like? That looks about almost nine ounces. It's kind of at a weird angle because it's not at 10, it's, it, it's in the middle. So that's about that nine ounces of egg whites. So we're gonna go ahead and just brown this meat and then we're gonna put it together. It comes together really quickly and then it's gonna be baked. All right, so I'm just gonna start browning this meat and I shall be right back. Oh, the oven is ready to go. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm still browning the meat. Just try to break it up into as small of a chunk as you can get it, best you can. I have one of these little mashers, meat masher, potato masher, whatever you want to call it, to make it a little bit easier. You just want to get it as fine as you can, but chunk, leave some chunks in there. It's really good with the chunks. You don't want it crushed up fine like you do with, do with ground beef. Leave it kind of chunky. I'm going to just keep browning this off. All right, y'all, the sausage has been all ground up. This pan right here, if I'm not mistaken, it's like an 11 by seven, smaller than a 13 by nine, but bigger than a nine inch. So all I do is just put all the sausage in the bottom, that whole thing. And then, like I said, I'm using liquid egg whites because I actually had some left over. So, that, let's see if we can see that better this time. Still looks about nine ounces. So let's season up these egg, these egg whites. So I think, let's see, let me put it right here. Try some of this. Don't want to put too much because the, the sausage is already seasoned. A little bit of pepper. And a couple shakes of salt, not much. Because like I said, sausage is already seasoned. And this right here, this has a little salt in it too. So you don't want to do too much. So we're just going to mix that all in there. And then just pour it on top. For me, this is the best way to eat eggs. It has to be mixed with a lot of stuff for me to say it's good. All right, and just want to kind of Pat everything down, make sure it's in there pretty good. Let me bring it back forward a little bit. There we go. And you know, because for kicks and giggles, I have a little bit of seasoned bit, seasoned blend mix left over. Onions, celery, bell peppers, a little bit of parsley. It's not much in there. Just gonna use the rest of it up. It's not a lot. It really, well, that really wasn't a lot. I just knew it was more, at least more than that, but it's all right. It's all right. Look, I'm going, look, look at me trying to spread out uh, like five onions. 
little bit on each corner and a little bit in the middle. All right. So we just want to top it off with some cheese. So I thought today instead of using mainly cheddar cheese, Velveeta, you know, it, it melts great. A little bit, a lot, whatever floats your boat. And because I still did have just a little bit of Kobe Jack left, you see it's not much in that bag. You can pour some of that on there too. Whole thing. And for me, that's it. You can add some bacon, ham. Hmm, what else? Hash browns maybe? I've never used hash brown, but it probably be good. I just usually, just like it, just like this. Because I can usually just have this and call it a day with a cup of coffee, y'all. So this goes in the oven, just like that. 350, 30 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, check that out. It's out of the oven. It took 30 minutes, but you know, it's, it's, it's pretty hot. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit before I give it a try. And I'll let you guys know how good this is. I'll be right back once this has cooled off. All right, y'all, I'll let it cool off for a little bit. So let's give this a try. Just sausage, eggs, and cheese. Quick and easy. Have some fruit to go with it, some toast. See that? Nice and simple. You know what goes good with this? A pot of grits. Mm-hmm. Look at that. A biscuit. But today, low carb. Just wanted some breakfast casserole. Didn't want anything else. So let's try this out. Oh. I'm trying not to blow too loud, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look, I'm doing my eating dance. Yes, so good. Something simple, you know, if you don't want anything too heavy for breakfast or for dinner, make some breakfast casserole. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Look, I got cheese on my hand. Bye.